Hey everybody, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? It's why I've set up the website. And hey, if you like something there, maybe you get it for your mom for Mother's Day if you celebrate. Uh, Colin so hey everybody, the story of this painting, I think, is sort of uh, leads into what I want to talk about today. So I started with this idea. I was like, hey, that dead body in Insurgency looks kind of cool with the lighting that it's got and yada yada. And I was like, I'll paint that. And then I was like, yeah, it's kind of grim. I don't know if that's really what I represent. And um, I think it'll have weird connotations. So we're going to do something else. So then I was like, all right, what about uh, a skeleton angel? That'd be cool. And I could do it in the color pattern that I've been doing for the last couple paintings. I try and get the, the, the you know, sketch down. And I'm just like, this is bad. I don't like this. So uh, even with zooming in, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm like, all right. Let's try that color palette I've been doing, that style I've been doing, but let's do it with like a bird, you know, something else that I really like to do. Um, and I, I gave it a go and I liked it. I think it looks good. Um, and through that process, I think I kind of um, am showing off something that is important to know about being an artist. And that is that like, it is not pretty, it is not perfect. There is, are a lot of steps that go through uh, making art, you are not going to always have clean, pristine work. Because I could have very easily used four canvases for this. Could have used one for the insurgency one, uh, two for the the angel because I screwed up one, you know, size thing for it, and then another one for this one. I could very easily done that, but I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of space. I got a pile of paintings that I need to get rid of. Call them on Dicom if you want to buy some. And uh, you know, I I feel like that in itself is representative of who I am as an artist in a way, if that makes sense. Being, um, not being able to do that, it goes into my work, literally, that there are other paintings below it. If you look at some of Da Vinci's stuff, he had sketches on every square inch of his work. And that's because he just, he did not have the, the ability to get that much paper. So that's how come we have sketches of him doing just beautiful drawings on every square inch of the, the the work that he's got. I feel like that this video has to be made for two reasons. A, when I was a kid, I would be like, oh, I screwed up one, you know, drawing in this this sketchbook, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get a new one because I don't want to rip out a page. Because if I rip out a page, people will know I screwed up. And for some reason, that was important to me when I was like five. Um, that that's not how life works. I think my parents <laughs> probably said something to that effect or that they weren't going to buy me another sketchbook. So I had to just make do with a sketchbook that had a bad drawing in it because as an adult, yeah, yeah, it's unreasonable uh, to, to be like, oh, well, I'll just throw out the whole thing because th th there's one bad drawing. Um, and also, I feel like a lot of uh, may maybe they're just doing better than me, but I feel like it is unrealistic as an artist, uh, especially the, the TikTok artists and the uh, other YouTube artists that are out there, just sort of always using pristine canvases. Like you guys never screw up. You guys never, you guys never have issues. You, you guys have all the space in the world for, for bad paintings. They're like what? No, like sometimes the idea sucks once you actually get it on like in color and you have to start from the beginning. And I feel like that's an unrealistic expectation, an unrealistic uh, understanding of how art works, that people are doing that. So um, I guess this is just me being like, and I won't be like that. Of course I'll use, you know, fresh canvases every now and then because I do, once I use up all the canvases that are, you know, uh, bad, I'm gonna have to get new canvases. And so that's probably gonna be a new canvas next week, but you know. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video made sense. I think that's gonna be the, the bigger deal on this one. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Let me know if this is something that you've seen other artists do or... Anyway, I should thank the people on patreon.com slash revscarecrow. If you wanna join them, you can go there, give me a couple bucks. It really does help the channel out. Thank you to everyone who donates, uh, especially the people at the $5 tier or more, starting with Wapfu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Targo. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Orthogonal Caster. Thank you, Mortibus. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Katana Squirrel. Thank you, Josh. 
Thank you, James at Games. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Demetrius Gazgales. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bubba Bear. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ants! <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope this video is helpful to you, or at least put things into a new light. Uh, everything you do in your work is part of your work. In, I think that reusing old canvas is part of that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.